guys you're welcome to Bulwark Arts so today i'll be taking us on canva tutorial and this is the canva app i'm not making use of the mod app so we make use of the basic app we can all get at the um place so first of all we're going to click on this plus sign here so click on the plus sign you select this size you select the square instagram post square this is 1080 by 1080 that's the size of the square so as you can see first of all you can see the canva is uh white there's nothing on it so you're giving me ideas for template but i want to create everything from the scratch so we start with the color the background color orange and I lock it the next thing i'm going to do is click on this plus sign here and add ele click on element so i'll add a shape i want to add a circle shape the wait for everything to loop so this is it these are shapes increase the size increase the width as you can see the camera app is going to help you balance it so now let's change the color as well color yes <coughs> so i'm going to lock this one as well so next thing you click on the plus sign again to add more elements so this time this is where you need to pay close attention you see frames frames and the shapes are two different things these are frames frames you will see these pictures in the middle with this you can actually add or power clip a picture inside them so i need a circle frame so this is the one i'm going with the circle frame so when you add it you reduce it to your preferred size this size is okay you see it has already aligned and positioned it in the middle so we'll click on this button again the plus button i'm going to add something else now initially for the design i searched for food this was working up so i want to make use of that in case if you want to make use of the pictures in the application you just click on search for anything anything you click on you will get it now this one is having pro on it if you have the mod app that's the hacked pro version of the app you can actually get all these things for free so but if you want to make use of a picture you have in your gallery already allow click on images oh, okay. i'm going to upload yeah upload file so you can go and select the file you want from your gallery the one we made use of on that design we are remaking have a lot of documents and folders. Can I remember where this is? A plate of food. Mm -hmm. One minute, please, as we keep searching. PNGs. Okay, this is it. So the image is going to import now. If the image will import, we will not need this frame anymore. But if the image doesn't, we will make use of the frame. So my past designs and uploads. Okay. You can also access the folder too. Okay. You have uploaded, you have upgraded a lot of things on the application. That's why I'm finding it difficult to navigate through. But when you know what you want, you know how you get them now. No matter what. Okay, these are the PNGs. And yeah, these foods are not PNGs. Zip all this one that doesn't have background, they are PNGs. Looking for a food PNG. Yes. Yeah, this is it. You see now it has been power clipped inside that chip. This is how I did it. You see? If you want to power clip an image into a frame, if you just drag the image over the frame, then you can see it has been power clipped. Okay, and moving forward to add text, you click on this plus sign. Then when you look down here, you can see text. 
click on it, click on add a letter box, add a text, add a text box to me. No one knows that. Video of my laptop. It's taking time. What's wrong with my laptop? Okay, so now we click on font. Select our preferred font. The font is only making it to be hanging safe. Color. I'm still having issues with my network, so let's move on. So moving on, we click on the plus sign. The design is supposed to click, click on element. So in this, you can either import, import if you have um the texture, or you can you can import it just the way you imported if it would PNG, or you make use of a picture as a texture. So for this, I'm going to be making use of this picture as a texture. You have increased the size. Scroll, you see these three buttons more. You click on it. Transparency. What's wrong with this thing? Okay. So you take it, bring, send backwards, send backwards. Now go to transparency, bring the transparency over there. Let's say twenty. Yes. Then. Effect. You see, this is the reason why. Uh, this is the reason why I prefer you making use of Pixel Lab. You know, with Pixel Lab, you can do anything, and it's not something that makes use of your data. It's, it's something that you can make use of offline at any time you want. But the advanced thing about Canva is that you can also add blur or anything you want in your design. Look. So I can move it very good. So we'll go back to the text font. I have to recently use this one, yeah. Then color, same as the background. Add another text, add the text box. Julie's edit. So here will be kitchen. Font. Color is yellow. Mm -hmm. Fit. Okay, then to this kitchen, let me see if I can add effect on it. Put like in the shadow. Yeah, it's better. So, what next? Let's add this as the logo. I made use of this in the I said it is Julie's Kitchen logo. Reduce the size. Then move it up. Change the color. Color refused to change.
you can see brand colors is already here based on the colors and the design so let's add something else the text there so here here font color here correct the font with the same font we use for kitchen you don't know where to be found that disappeared recently it's supposed to be recently used Now location PNG. Without the effects you get. So, 